everyone, this is Mayu, and welcome to a new reimagined challenge. Thank you all very much for your lovely comments and likes in my previous video. Your love and support really encourages me to continue making these videos for you. Today, I'm going to reimagine some famous snacks as beautiful girls. <gasps> I wonder how tasty they'll look like. Now, I know lots of you would love to have me continue this series, and thank you for telling me what you like to see in my future videos. I'm definitely going to do part two and beyond for the other drinks. Uh, I am working on some concepts, but they do take a long time uh, to work on because the concept design and the sketching and how I come up with the different designs for the artwork does take the most amount of time for me. And I want to do a really good job for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Definitely, I'm going to do more for you. I am reimagining the first snack as a beautiful girl. I have to say, I love drawing her hair like this. It's such an interesting shape, and I love to get that little, that little curly tip in the end there. I just think it's so interesting and so nice. And I'm also loving the earrings that I gave her. They're quite different and they look a little sharp, but I think it kind of adds to her confidence and her gracefulness. Thank you for letting me know that you like my new art style. This is part of my new series that I'm doing. Some of you told me you still enjoy watching my other art videos and art challenge series where I ink with my black brush pen. I'll still be continuing those. Stay tuned. I recently released five new ebooks for Apple and Kindle. I know many of you want to learn how to draw different things from me, and many of you told me that you're using my ebooks that I've released before, and that they're really helping you to learn more things and to improve your art. I'm glad that you're getting more experience and practice by using my ebooks, and I'm super happy to hear that. I'm really proud of all of you. I was trying to think about how to incorporate the snack into her dress design and for a while that was kind of challenging because of the triangular shapes but then I thought well for the dress I could actually make the entire design just based on that one shape the triangle the challenge was to try to make the shape look elegant and graceful I tried different designs in the concept uh, sketch Phase, and after a while I came up with this and I think I think this is gonna look really pretty I love to layer the different triangular pieces of fabric and oh these large pieces oh I just love it here I'm switching to my red brush pen I really really like to use these different uh, colors when I'm inking with my brush pens in case you're wondering where you can get these types of brush pens for your own art, I have some Amazon links in the video description. And for your convenience, you can just click on the link and it'll take you right to that product page. I hope that helps. When I was designing her dress, I thought about a cascade of these beautiful triangular fabric folds just kind of falling down. And I thought that was a really unique look. I felt it was an elegant take on a dress design and at the same time I was able to get the triangular theme into the design. I really liked how I designed the dress folds to get bigger and bigger as we go down. For the dress to actually fall gracefully onto the floor, I really liked that. For the front of the dress, I decided to have the dress open to, 
so you can see the legs and then for her heel I really liked how I designed it I thought it was really interesting to design it with that triangular theme in mind I think it really fits the overall design For her hairstyle and her color for the hair, I went with a bold design. A sharp contrast in the colors. Oh, I just love how the black and the glowing fiery like colors in the tip really go well with each other. I am loving that contrast. I love blending the different colors to get a different effect. For her skin, I kept adding different shades into her face and her body to get the dimensions in there. For the bra area of the dress, I wanted to kind of mirror the colors that I had in her hair by going with the gold and the bright, brilliant, warm colors. I think overall it might pull the design together more. Oh, here comes the black. I love this. I think it's eye catching. Now I'm going down into the lower part of the dress and I wanted to use lighter colors like the yellows, light yellows and darker yellows first. Adding some little oranges in there. It's interesting to see how as I add the different shades and the colors, the effect overall changes. Oh, the dark underside of the fabric was really fun. When I was coloring the dress, I knew I didn't want to have everything the same, like uh, yellow or gold color. I wanted to have more of a color variation as I went down into the bottom folds of the dress. I love, love, love building the layers of the colors as I go down. And then like, especially when you add the dark colors on top, it just really makes it pop. I love that. And then I was thinking about all the different flavors of the snack and then I thought well I think it's a good idea to color her dress that kind of represents the different like flavors and so that's why I was using different kinds of warm colors as you can see it kind of goes from the yellow to the orange and then to, to the light red and to the dark red so I thought that was really interesting it kind of adds more to my design as well.
Many of you told me you love to own my art books, art prints, and coloring books. Right now, I'm not able to create those because I don't want to produce anything with cheap quality. I like to produce them at a high quality that I know you'll be proud to own and to collect. And that's why I would love to work with a publisher to help me produce those for you. In case you know any good publishers, please let me know. Oh, here comes her makeup! So I wanted to try something really different with her makeup this time. And I like how it kind of reflects the hair and her earrings. <gasps> Ooh, I think she looks so cool. I love designing her dress and coloring it. I really like how I had the shiny effect in the fabric. It just really pops out, it jumps out at me, and it's really eye-catching. Also love the contrast between the different colors. Love it. For the second reimagining, I wanted to approach it in a different way. I knew I wanted to get the circular like cookie shapes into my design somehow, but I also knew that I didn't want to like use like the circle or the oval as the actual like shape or the theme as part of my design, like what I did with the triangles in the last part. I wanted to do something a little bit different for the second reimagining. And so I was experimenting with different ways of how to incorporate the snack into my design of this beautiful girl. So it was an interesting process for me for the concept sketch stage for this design. And I was thinking about how to draw her upper body and the lower body. And then I started to think about, well, I could actually incorporate more things other than just the snack itself. And then I was looking at, you know, the packaging and what you usually eat or drink in this case with the snack. And then that started to open up a whole new area of like, um, possibilities for me and I got really excited and then I started to design uh, parts of her dress like this. I think it's really interesting. It's something that I haven't really done before and that's what got me to get really like just like I was just so happy and so like excited to kind of experiment in this direction. And I think one of the great things about art or creating things is that there's no right or wrong way to uh, do a particular art piece or illustration. This is something that is purely just, you know, your thoughts, your imagination, and basically you let your mind and ideas take you wherever they go. I think it's really satisfying as an artist for me to be able to create art from the ideas that I have in my head, in my mind, and then uh, once I create that piece, it's like you, the viewer, are able to step into my mind and get a peek into what I'm thinking. So I think that's a really interesting um, and wonderful thing to have as an artist, and I'm so grateful that I'm able to keep creating art for all of you. At first, when I was designing the rough sketches for her, I was wondering how the colors would turn out because the snack itself has pretty limited colors. I felt for my design, I did want to have a little bit more color than that. And then as I eventually began to design the different parts of her dress, I knew I was going to be able to get more colors, like more variations in there. And I just, I really wonder how she's gonna turn out. In case you have difficulty drawing hands, 
I created an ebook series called Draw One Hand in Twenty Poses. There is one ebook for male and one ebook for female characters. In them, you will learn how to draw twenty different hand poses for male and female characters, including holding things, different gestures, lifting things, picking things up, and graceful hand poses. I hope my ebooks will help you create better looking characters. The download links are in the video description. I'm continuing to make more ebooks for you for all skill levels and interests. Stay tuned. Quick, how many Orioles do you see here? I wanted a very graceful, light, almost like an airy feeling. I really like how that part of her dress just wraps around her neck. During my art videos, I tried to remind myself not to comment on certain areas because I didn't want to spoil anything for you viewers. It'll be really nice if you viewers got surprised along the way. I wanted to get some blues into my dress design as well. And I was thinking about this stripe of like this uh, beautiful piece of long fabric that kind of flows down, it cascades down, almost like a waterfall. I think it's so graceful. When I was shading in this part of her dress, I wanted to not add too much of the shading because I knew it's not supposed to look too dark, but I wanted to add just enough just to show the dimension of the dress. And then when I was blending it with my blender, it just looked like it was so soft and just so, I don't know, like the, the feeling was, it's so creamy, it's so delicious. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting hungry. I'm glad I went with this design for her dress. Originally, I did not know how to like incorporate the snack into a dress that kind of wraps around a female body because I was thinking originally I wanted to just add like a bunch of these circles or ovals onto her. But when I was looking at that early sketch, I'm like, mm, I'm not really feeling it. I wanted something that looked more like fabric that was wrapping around her body. And then I eventually came up with this design where I just got a hint of the snack in there. And I think that's really nice. I like how subtle it is. For those of you who are into fashion design, dress design, or you like to draw beautiful girls in pretty dresses, you can check out my recent ebook that I released called How to Draw Famous Characters as Princesses. So I hope that book really helps you come up with your own creative ideas on how to design dresses for your characters. I really like how I incorporated the snack into her hair. I think it's cool. And then her little earrings. 
getting some blue in there just to mirror the blue in her dress. Some of you told me you're waiting for my next Animate My Life episode. I'm working on it. Stay tuned. Oh my god, I love it! It's so pretty! And it's so delicious! I really like the milk part of the dress, the way it splashes, and the energy behind it, the strokes, the colors. Oh, it's so nice. So, what do you think of my famous snacks reimagined as beautiful girls? Which one is your favorite? I encourage you to check out my ebooks, download them now, and start drawing better. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you in my next video.